Hi, uh, this is a bit more of an in-depth tutorial on uh, the entering and exiting of vehicles script that I've made. Well, I made it a while ago, but I've just gotten around to actually polishing it. Um, so, just pretend that this is a car, and it's got three doors, three seats, and then that's the car. I'm not very good at modelling. Uh, I tried to make a car, didn't really work, so I just threw this together. So, what you can do is you can go to the door of a certain seat and it'll put you in this seat you can come out again you can go in uh, I'm using the character controller that I've made as well it doesn't come with the kit but you'll, you'll be able to buy that separately if you want uh, there's no animations currently like for sitting or anything but that's I can add that really easily like a couple hours work uh, so you can go in and out any seat, uh, you can also go into the middle, like the actual, click on the actual car and it will just put you in the first seat available, so that's seat 1, seat 2, seat 3. And I'll show you how to set this up, so first of all on your character you add the script from here, the get in script, oh, let me just delete these quickly. Right, so you you have the get in script which you attach to your attach to your player. So you change the interact key to whatever you want. Sorry about that. Then you can change the range of it. So that's just how far away you can interact with the the car and what key it is. Then you've got the two tags. Oops. So you'll tag the car with whatever tag you've got here, and then you'll tag the doors with whatever tag you've got here. Then all of these you will tick if you want. Like when you enter the car, you might have you might enable different cameras and stuff like that. So if maybe one spot in the car has a turret or something, you might disable all the cameras and stuff. And uh, on your on your character when you enter a vehicle. But just now I'm only disabling one of the scripts and the character controller. So I tick both those. I drag in the character controller, and I also drag in a script that I'm disabling. So it just disables the character controls. So that, that's that's how you set up that, it's pretty simple. You can ignore these three things down at the bottom here. That's just for uh, debugging and stuff. So then what you do is you get your on your car, you attach the get in object script to it. And you'll see this pause in object, you want to expand that. And depending on how many seats you have, you'll change this number to match that. So element zero is this seat here. So you, change, you put the seat's position, which is the seat. That's where your car will get put when he goes in the seat. Then you can ignore this as occupied, or you can set this so the seat is occupied already and it won't allow you to go in that seat. Then you've got the exit position, so when you exit the vehicle it will put you wherever the exit position is. So you can have a different one for each door. Uh, then you've got play animations. If your vehicle has animations for certain doors opening and closing, then you can put them in here. And then it's the same thing like on the character. You can hit it if you want to enable and disable different cameras when you come into this seat. Then you can do that here. And it's the same for every other seat. And then you've also got this door script, which you attach to the doors of the vehicle. So if you hit a certain door, it'll put you in that certain seat. So door to seat value on this door. You just change that to match the seat in here. So that's 0 to element 0. This one's 1 to element 1. And then this one's 2 to element it's pretty simple to set up. Works really well actually. Um, since considering I made it a while ago and I've not actually used it since, but works works fine. Uh, so yeah, you, when you enter, so what you, what you would do with your car is if you if you enter the driver's seat, it will enable all the driving things of the car. Maybe if you enter the side seat of a car, it'll enable a turret or something. So it's pretty simple. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you.